All right, joined by the history maker, Charlize Ledger Walker. Let's triple double. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what we, history? We got, we got history today. Yes. It was a big day 15 points, 11 rebounds, 11 assists. Talk about it. How important is that to you uh, as a player? Did you know that you were two rebounds short when they put you back in the game? Take us back there, Shirley. I, first of all, I didn't know until um, AT actually told me. She was like, you only need two more rebounds. Go out and get it. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize it was the triple double. I saw the points and rebounds, but not the assists. So, um, yeah, I so mean. We just told you right now? Well, I knew eventually. Okay, okay. But, and I think right. they said it, and I people were clapping. So yeah. I heard it. But, yeah. I mean, all credit to my team. They were making shots. Um, boxing out to allow me, you know, to box out my player and go get the ball. So um, I think today we just came out really with a determination to win, especially coming off a loss, obviously, to UW and not wanting to come out flat. So, yeah, just super proud of how my team played today and got the win. We talk about you're one of the most dynamic playmakers in the country. Your ability to make plays for yourself or your teammates is like Chelsea Gray for the Aces or LeBron James. Like, you see plays before they happen. Walk us through what it is like when you're on the floor and you see plays start to develop and teammates that are open, or they may not even know that they're open. Yeah, super high regards. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> um, but again, I think it just goes back to, uh, you know, time in the gym and being able to get a lot of reps in and understanding what how the defense is playing us and me especially and, you know, on ball stuff and just being able to read and use my IQ to kind of make those decisions in the moment. And I think a big part of that comes from just playing at a high level for a very long time and putting myself in uncomfortable positions where I'm having to, you know, make a decision whether to go get a bucket myself or get my teammates open and, Again, we have so much offensive talent on our team that at any on any day, um, someone out, someone can come out and have a great scoring game. And it's kind of my job as a point guard to find those people and keep my team um, going. Well, you talk about playing at a high level for a very long time. You guys played at a really high level at the end of last year mm -hmm. in the Pac-12 Conference Tournament, winning the championship. And now coming back, you have the target on your back. Yeah. Do you feel that other teams now are gunning for you in a way that it wasn't before? Yeah, I mean, I personally love being the underdog. And um, <laughs> at this program entirely, um, you know, before I got here and even throughout my career here, we've always been that underdog. Um, and so I think coming into this year, obviously coming back as the Pac-12 tournament champions, um, a lot of people have a bit more respect for who we are. And I think that, um, you know, we just have to rise to that challenge. And I think we're very capable and shown glimpses of, of how good we can be this year. But I still think our ceiling is a lot higher. And going to Pac-12 play is going to be tough. I mean, you have seven, six teams in the top 25 consistently, almost top 10 consistently. So... For us, we just have to really focus on, um, you know, staying composed as a team and finding different ways to win and put points on the board. And the growth, is it in the freshmen? Like these freshmen, that can, you had five players in double digits mm -hmm. again today, fifth time this year. But it's the freshmen that I saw. I'm like, oh, They're wow. good. They're, They're really good. <laughs> They're really, really good. And, you know, again, their ceiling is so high. You've yeah. got, um, you know, Jenna and L.A. out there in the guards um, who can just come out and knock down threes, make plays. Yeah. L.A. is, again, she's international, been playing against, um, you know, in, in FIBA and all of that. So she understands kind of that level of how to play and stay composed. And you've got Jenna who comes in and makes an impact straight away. Alex, um, I think, sorry, Bella, but she's probably going to take <laughs> over that block record. Probably in her freshman year. I mean, she's just got great timing and yeah. um, such a high IQ of in the post and defensively, especially. And, um, yeah, all three of them. And then Candace, you don't get to see, but in training, she's a beast too. So I'm yeah. very excited for this program going forward and how they're going to have an impact. Charlize Ledger-Walker. Great game. Cougars win again. See you guys. Again. See you. <laughs>